Hey, how are you guys? Dr. Khan here with my fancy earrings. No, I'm just kidding. These are some models of lens implants, intraocular lens implants. When we, when we do cataract surgery or we want to get rid of glasses and you're not a candidate for LASIK, let's say you're 56 years old and you want to be able to see far, middle and near, then you'll opt for presbyopic implants. There are different kinds of presbyopic implants. Today we're going to talk mainly about the difference between Technis and Symphony, which are both from the same company, Johnson & Johnson. So these are how the lens models look like. This is a clear lens. We're not talking about that, toric lens. So basically Symphony and Technis. Symphony has less rings uh, than Technis, and it's considered an EDOF type of lens that is extended extended depth of field lens. Whereas Technis has certain ridges or eschlets in French, which splits the incoming light into distance and near, allowing you to see distance near and the bimodal curve lets you see middle. Symphony on the other hand, acts very much like a pinhole camera where you can see distance, middle and somewhat near. So if you were going to choose between the two, if you have long hands, Symphony. If you love to read closer, Technis. Uh, if you've had previous surgeries like radial keratotomy or LASIK, Symphony might be a better choice. Um, in terms of side effects, Technis has a little bit more glare initially, which fades away. In Symphony, you can see a spider web. But the best option is to discuss these various choices with your surgeon and make sure the surgeon is comfortable with all the choices. And if you have more questions, you can always read my book available from Amazon, The Miracle of Pi and I. Have a wonderful day.